Hey guys, Zogi Sanchez here and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And in this video, I'm going to share with you guys my super speedy minion necromancer build. I've tried a bunch of different builds today and this is what I could come up with. It was the fastest clear speed and boss killing speed all in one. So it's like a nice all rounded package. And it's the only real thing I could find that actually gives us movement speed as we don't really have a good mobility skill on necromancer, unfortunately. It's like the only thing she's lacking, but everything else is just crazy OP. So if you guys are interested in the build, please stick around and drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out so much and I appreciate every single one of you beautiful people. Without further ado, let's hop into the build now, shall we? Let's go ahead and look at the billet tree. I'll bring this up for you guys. Now we start with decompose. You could even take reap if you wanted to, but I like decompose just for the longer boss fights, like when you get to the end of a dungeon, because if you actually get this point of here, when you channel it, you and your minions deal 10% increased damage to enemies are being decomposed. And it does last like a second, so you could even decompose and then hit it with your next skill and you'll still do increased damage. So it's really nice overall. It does also give you corpses when you when you channel it. So right at the beginning of the dungeon, you channel it for a little bit so you can get a bunch of corpses and actually summon up your army. And then that just gets you gets the ball rolling, so to say. And then we move on down to Sever. We pick up a point in Sever. Enhanced Sever and Supernatural Sever. Because Sever deals 2% increased damage for each minion you have upon cast. We have about 13, 12 or 13 minions in this, but I think 12 minions including our golem. So 12 times 2, 24% increased damage on Sever. That's a massive multiplier over there. Along with some other multipliers we'll get into later. Then we move on down and we pick up Skeletal Warrior Mastery times 3. Just to make your Skeletal Warriors more damage and more life. Then we actually go further down, pick up Iron Maiden, Enhanced Iron Maiden, and Ahorant Iron Maiden. This is your only real source of healing. Even though you don't ever, I don't ever drop below full health of this build because you just, your minions like face doing everything for you. You're running like past everything, just everything is blowing up all over the place all the time. So you barely ever take damage. And then we pick up Decrepify with Enhanced and Horror Decrepify. So when things are 10% life, they will just instantly die. When the you or your minions hit them doesn't work on bosses but i believe it does work on elite packs only like big bosses at the end of dungeons and stuff like that and then we actually pick up three points in skeletal mage master as well just more damage on the skellies and then we pick up three in reapers pursuit damaging enemies with darkness skill increase your movement speed by 15 percent for three seconds so whenever you decrepify or you hit sever both of those are our darkness abilities and they give you movement speed so you can just clear that much faster, run through your minions, murder everything, decrepify a little bit of yeah, there's a lead back, quickly sever it, and your minions are killing everything fast while you're not killing everything. They like clean up for you and you're running past. That's great. I love this build variation of yeah. And then on the last points, we put three points into Golem Mastery, just for increased damage in life on our Golem, as they are actually doing most of our damage, surprisingly, even though we do a surprising amount of damage ourselves. So that is it for the ability tree. And then our Book of the Dead, we're actually running Skeletal Warriors with Reapers down below. You take the first point over there, close that on out. And the Mages, we are using the Bone Mages of EM, give them increased damage. And if you spam your Ray Skeleton once you've got all your minions out, every time you hit it afterwards for 5 seconds, that's going to summon a Skeleton Priest that will heal and give them a damage buff for 5 seconds. Really nice. So whenever you see corpses lying around, they actually be like a little buff above this to know when it's up or not and just hit it and consume corpses to like heal your bone priest your bone mages back up and also give them more damage because you know more damage is beautiful and then golems we got the first one over there golems can just drop a corpse and they take up to one ever they take 20 percent of the maximum life as damage and they also get healed as well once you do the heal so that's how we set up our book of the dead over there so that's it for abilities and book of the dead now let's actually look at our legendary aspects i'm pretty decked out the two pieces of ai don't have legendary aspects on them yet so eventually i could put something on there to make that even more powerful but i believe it's only like defense and utility on the helm on the in the chest over there so nothing major but this is the first big one to the build your maximum number of skeletal mages increased by two any of these that you actually put on a weapon or amulet increases that even more so this could be three but we just don't have it on amulet yet because we have some other stuff on our amulet but wherever you find it you just want at least two of these two skelly mages over there that's just increased armor so just defense and the next one we have of yes two skelly warriors increases again by two and then this of yes something i've been playing around with on the weapon you deal 78 percent increased shadow damage to enemies afflicted by both decrypify and iron maiden 
So when I check both of these up on an enemy or a pack, you can just hit save it or like literally delete them all because it's the, main, the server gets buffed by the 78% over there and then the 24% for having all your minions out. And if you had an extra minion, it's another 2%. So all of that dark damage adds up while it's also boosting your movement speed. And it's just all really focused around dark damage and minions and movement speed. I love it. Nice and fast and big damage. And then if he has another one, each time one of your summoning minions damages an enemy, they gain 21% attack speed for 3 seconds, up to 63%. When you get to bosses, bosses just melt. Like they'll start going slowly and then all of a sudden they'll just like start chunking because the minions actually get this buffed up. And the next one we got is uh, Decompose can chain up to two additional targets and when Decompose spawns a corpse it has a 54% chance to spawn a corpse under all the affected targets. So it can go to two additional targets so it's going to decompose on three targets overall. That's when you stand and channel your little Decompose beam. It has a chance to give you corpses, corpses, more health and more damage for your skeletons. So just overall good over there. Not Nothing major but it is a nice little added quality of life. And then the last one over here your skeletons gain increased damage while active up to 26% after 10 seconds. Now preferably you want to get this one and actually put it on your weapon. as That one over there will give you the biggest damage upgrade in all of these aspects to the build. So that is pretty much the whole build. I'll leave you guys a little bit of gameplay over here at the end. So that is everything involving this build. The fastest and nice fun build that I could find for minions. Run around, swipe your little reaper size along with your minions you see we've got all the minions in the background there all swiping stuff speeding down and just murdering bosses this will probably delete the butcher i haven't ran him to him again yet and it'll probably do good on the world boss as well since you do have your own generator but i have another complete separate build on that a single solo minion boss build that focuses 100 on boss damage and i actually use that on the world boss so i expect that video to come to the channel pretty soon Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please drop a like and a sub. Helps me out so much. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one. Hoggy saying out. free and dive into the sky hear the wind crying